It's Tuesday the 18th of April 2017 and I'm at Alton in Hampshire to do a walk along the Pilgrim's Way. The route goes up Nursery Road in Alton. We now turn right off Nursery Road along this path. Pilgrim's Way now heads along this path, heading out of Alton. We now cross this large playing field area. On the other side of the playing field we turn left through a gap and go along this enclosed path. A little further on we turn right down another enclosed path. Further on the path crosses a road and continues. As you can see we are following the St Swithin's Way here as well. And there's the enclosed path ahead. Now in Hollybourne, and here is the church. And the clock is a bit fast, I'm afraid. Another view of the church in Hollybourne. We head out of Hollybourne along another enclosed path. Now heading along the side of this field. Makes a change to get away from enclosed paths for a while. Now crossing a field to the belt of trees ahead. quite breezy today and cool. The way goes across another field with a decent view over to the left. There's the clear path across the field. The path continues along the left hand edge of this field. It's a quite a big field as well. Decent view to the right. Lovely footpath sign here. That's the way of the walk. We're going to have the field boundary on the right and the field on the left. Now we're changing sides. Now looking back, there's a splendid view. We now head across this field on that clear path with great views ahead like a busy road down there as well. Now heading downhill on this grassy path. And that's looking back across the field I've just traversed. We pass this beautiful lake on the right just as the path starts to ascend on the other side of a small valley. Now in the village of Upper Froyle and the way continues straight ahead at this point. And there's the church at Upper Froyle dedicated to the Assumption.
just past the church we turn right off the road over this stile. After crossing a short field we go through a kissing gate and then turn left along this driveway. The driveway leads to a small road and a few yards along that road Pilgrim's Way turns left through this kissing gate along the signposted path there. Further on we follow this hedge on the left. At this road the walk turns right. We turn left off the road along this footpath. Where the track turns right, we continue ahead through this kissing gate. The walk joins another driveway which again bears right, but we continue ahead along this path you can see. I'm now having to traverse some awful ploughed field. Here's confirmation that we're still on St Swithin's Way as well as Pilgrim's Way. And after that ploughed field, the walk crosses the star and then turns left along this road. We turn right off that road along this tree line path. After a short distance, the path opens out and there's a splendid view over to the right. We're heading for the village of Bentley now. Heading for the village of Bentley across the fields along the Pilgrim's Way. Now at St Mary's Church, Bentley. We now head along Hole Lane, out of Bentley. Heading towards the hamlet of East Green, along this road. We take the left hand road at this fork. Quite a nice view ahead here. We turn left off the road, along this woodland path. The path bends right to head through Warfield Copse. Very pleasant. At the end of the copse, we follow this path uphill through a crop of oilseed rape. At the top, there are some decent views. This is looking back. We now go across another old seed rape field. It's very windy in this spot. This path leads to a, a road. We turn left along the road and a few yards later turn right along this footpath. We cross the road and then Pilgrim's Way continues along this bridle way opposite. We're now on the border between Hampshire and Surrey with great views ahead, now crossing into Surrey. The bridleway drops down and then we need to start climbing again. The footpath ends at this road junction and the route continues along the road ahead. Along the road, a tremendous view opens up over to the right. And that's the route of Pilgrim's Way. We cross a busier road and now go along this road opposite. The road in the last clip was very busy, but I've now escaped along this quieter road. 
proper quiet road plunges down into this valley. Of course it then rises steeply the other side of the valley. Further along the road, views over to the left. The road starting to descend again. At this point the road turns left but we continue ahead along the track ahead. Later the track rises through woodland. The track comes to this T-junction where the route turns right down there. Now on the outskirts of Farnham. Now heading into Farnham along the main road. There's a view of Farnham Castle to the left. Now entering Farnham. Farnham is also the start of the North Downs Way long distance footpath. More information about the North Downs Way goes all the way to Dover from here. Now at Farnham Station and the end of today's walk along the Pilgrim's Way. Mm.